Hey, this is Silicus, and today I'm going to show you how to mount an X79 processor and a little bit of the differences between X58 and P67 and how the mounting actually goes onto the PCB itself. If you've got any questions, put them down below. If you like my videos, thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to get more of these. I've got a Twitter and a Facebook coming up, so you're welcome to subscribe and check out those. But anyway, we're going to tilt this down and get started. All right, so I'm going to first, we're going to unbox the processor real quick. It's a Intel i7-3930K. This is the step below the highest end at this making of this video. But it's a hexacore and it's unlocked, so it should do us just fine. So anyway, open it up. And uh, first thing you notice is it's a huge processor. Very large indeed. It's strangely packaged. And as you can see, wafer size, it's very, very large. All right, so let's open it up and install it. All right, so you see it has two notches here as well as a dot here. I assume the dot is going to line up on the other side. There's an arrow generally on the socket. Let's zoom in. All right, now, one of the biggest reasons why I'm making this video is that this takes a lot more retention on the chip than the previous chipset. So some people have been asking, are screwing up and just damaging their socket by trying to install it. So first thing you'll notice is that uh, it's a lot wider. And the difference between this and the original one is that this has four points that are actually on the board and not through the board. So you actually can screw in your socket stuff right here. So for instance, if you're mounting a cooling block, you screw it into this bracket. Should help with cracking the uh, PCB a little bit more so you're not breaking it as often. Anyway, so if you unlock it on this side first, it says one and here if you're unlocking and one here if you're closing it. So let's unlock it, one here, second one here, and then you're going to pull both sides up. Now you'll notice that you push down and this thing will pop up. So you don't want to dig into here. I've done it before. I was lucky. I've got hands of a surgeon. <laughs> um, anyway, so you open this thing up. It's pretty good to go. You're going to take your processor. You're going to find where it lines up, the arrow where it goes there. So you'll look for the little arrow, which is right here on the processor itself. And uh, you're going to line that up with the arrow on the actual chip, which should go with the notches there and there are notches so it's going to go in like so and it'll sit now if for some reason it doesn't feel right or these little tiny notches that are here and here aren't lining up do not force it in do not put your fingers in there and make sure that it sits perfectly then you're going to fold this thing back down like so now you lock the other side first. So you're gonna go here, and lock the other side there, apply your thermal grease, and install your heat, your, uh, heat sink. Depending on whether you have water, if you have an all-in-one such as Corsair's uh, H80, which I will uh, show you a little bit later and how to install it. And uh, anyway, that's how you put the X79 processor in. And a little bit about the difference between the chip set and the previous ones is remember that this is now sitting inside the PCB bolted to it as opposed to running something through it and putting a mounting bracket on the back. It's actually now attached to the motherboard. Hey, this is Tyler because I hope this helped you whenever you have to install a processor into an X79 platform and I uh, hope it answered some of the questions about the differences between this and some of the other previous generations. If you got any questions, put them down below. If you like my channel, subscribe, give me a thumbs up for these videos and I have a Twitter and a Facebook you can check out that are coming live here now. Sorry I've been a little slow on uh, getting back to some of your comments and questions. I will be moving here for the next couple of weeks, so maybe a little slow, but I'll get to you as soon as I can. And once again, thanks.